today I'm going to have a look at the new Wingnut Wings Felix Stowe and Hansen Vandenberg W29 kit, the Duelists. So you might be wondering why we're looking at boxing with the fouls. Uh, I thought I'd just give you a bit quick comparison. This is the standard Wingnut Wings box. And this beastie is the Duelist edition. It is huge. So as is normal we have some very attractive artwork, honestly these would be frameable and you could put them on the wall, they are absolutely stunning, they really do add a sense of quality to all Wingnut Wings releases. Um, don't know quite why they go to this much effort, but you bear in mind that 95% of these are sold online so you're never actually going to see these on most hobby shop store shelves. On opening the box, well, packed doesn't really do it justice. It is full to the brim of sprues. I mean, we have got two kits in here. Uh, so the best way I'm going to deal with this is I'll do the video in two halves. Uh, we'll start looking at the Hansen Brandenburg, and then we'll do a second part, which we'll look at the Felix Stowe. Now the Hansen Brandenburg W29 included in this kit is not new. It was released about three to four years ago, but sold out relatively fast. I think that's mainly due to the fact this is one of the easiest Wingnut Wings kits to construct. Uh, I built one for Scale Aviation Modeler International uh, uh, when the kit came out, and it just falls together. It is beautiful. Uh, we haven't done a video on it before, so we'll just have a quick look at this kit in a bit more detail. The plastic is unchanged, so we still have the same beautiful detail that we had. A particular note is the louvers on the side of the engine cowlings, which are removable, so you can show off the beautiful Mercedes D3 engine. Being a monoplane, you have these very large slab wings. Um, it was derived from a biplane, the W12, which has actually just been released uh, in conjunction with the Felix Stowe kit, and there is a video review already on that one online. Uh, this monoplane design does make this the easiest of wingnut kits to build. Um, you don't have any real issues because there's no rigging. Uh, it's just very, very, very easy to put together. This is the only Wingnut Wings kit to date, which features a metal spar. Uh, it does set the dihedral for you, it makes for a very stable model. I must admit, I thought we might have seen spars in the Felix Stowe, but uh, no, they're not there. Uh, we'll have a look at that kit in the next uh, video review, uh, and you'll see why they're not needed. Here we have the floats and the majority of the control surfaces, which are all uh, separate so are posable which will add some animation to your model. Here we have uh, one of two sprues, this is the beaching trolley, uh, the tail support and the gun sprue for the Spandau guns. Um, as in previous kits the guns are two versions, you bottom one of the two you can see here is the plastic, as I call it, the David version, the one that I normally use because it is so idiot proof, and the one at the top where you would have to roll a jacket from the etched brass sprue. Again, I would normally actually replace that with a master barrels example, uh, again just purely because it's a lot, lot easier for a very minimal cost. This sprue provides all the fuselage internals. Again, just beautiful. I, I always did love this kit. It's just details like the seat cushions with their studs, the, uh, the tank details. Everything on this is, it is just a beautiful kit. Um, so it assembles so easily. An ideal kit for the first timer. Now I've lost how, track of how many times we've actually seen this sprue. Uh, this is a standard Mercedes D3 engine and alternative propellers. It has been in so many kits. Uh, this engine obviously was the workhorse of the German Air Force during the First World War. Uh, it, just a really nice, simple sprue. Anyone who's built a wing, wing kit should be familiar with this one. Clear parts for the W29 really kept to a minimum just these four little components. Now for the decals. The only option in this kit is for the Hansen Brandenburg W29 of Frederick Christensen. 
he was an ace with over 13 victories and it was a great surprise that this uh, decal wasn't included in the original release uh, now we know why they were holding it back obviously for this uh, limited edition kit this decal sheet is the standard lozenge camouflage for the upper surfaces this i call this the intermediate stage um now on a, the current wing nut wings kits these would come as one piece all pre-shaped the first issues you just had bolts of fabric which you cut to shape here we have a kind of in between we have the bolts but they are pre-shaped so they are actually very easy to apply really really nice touches that they do give you spare lozenges so if you do have any mistakes you can actually uh, cover them up with the spare color matched lozenges and uh, you have all three colors the others up at the top right hand corner The second larger decal sheet provides all the individual markings, in, markings for Christensen's aircraft as well as for the Felix though included in this boxing. Uh, so here we have the major markings, very large crosses as you can see, and a white band around the fuse large with the letter C in a diamond. Here I've zoomed in on the instrument dials for the Hansen Brandenburg W29. As I say, these are beautifully reproduced. Uh, will look, look really good just with applied to the model and then a bit of gloss varnish on top to uh, represent the glass. Now the etched brass is a little bit of a surprise because it is a specialist one. I now they've released the Felix Stowe, they've released the W29 as separate kits, so I fully expected to have two sheets of brass. Uh, no, they've actually combined the brass on this one sheet. So you have on the right hand side the details for the Hansen Brandenburg, including the jackets for the guns and the seat belts. And on the left hand side you have details for the Felix Stowe. The instruction manual is always one of the highlights of a Wingnut Wings kit release, and this one is no exception. Uh, the instruction book is quite a large weighty tomb because it covers both the Brandenburg and the Felix Stowe. Uh, it will start off with the Hansen Brandenburg W29. Most of the photographs on this are new. As we know from the previous releases, you use these beautiful three-dimensional diagrams with very clear paint keys, and you'll normally have some period photographs. Now, this boxing actually represents a specific event, the shooting down of a Felix Stowe NF N4305 uh, by four or five Hansen Brandenburg W29s, including Christiansen's, we think. Um, so this photograph is actually showing that event. You'll see more of these photographs as we go through the book. Uh, I mean, they are wonderful instructions. They're really easy to use. They are downloadable off the Wingnut Wings website. So if you want to have a look at them or just have them as a reference resource, you can do so. Um, here we go, this is a nice part. This is the combat report from the Germans of the shooting down of the Felix Stowe and includes such things as the map and a nice series of photographs showing the destruction of the Felix Stowe. And here we have the one decal option in the uh, kit, uh, the W29 of Frederick Christensen. So a really quite an attractive scheme. Now we'll turn it over and here is a detailed photograph of the actual aircraft. Perfect for weathering or if you like building figures and dioramas. That's quite a nice little diorama there if you can get the figures for it. As well as the uh, action report that we've just seen, you also have this uh, little detailed documentation of the uh, shooting down of the Felix Stowe N4305. Uh, I say it's really, really interesting. These six kits are very similar to the old Airfix dogfight doubles by portraying a specific event. And it is a really nice way of uh, doing it. I really do like it. So that's the end of the first part, having a look at the Hansen Brandenburg W29. And in the second part, we'll move on and have a look at the big beast, the Felix Stowe.